Alright, we'll start today's availability with Richard Jr. outfielder Hunter Ensley. We'll take questions. What are you looking forward to learning most about the team this weekend? Uh, just getting out in front of a big crowd, um, obviously playing three different teams, so going day by day, just uh, the opportunity to adjust each game to every lineup, every pitcher, and at the end of the day, just seeing how we compete together as a team. How do weekends like this prepare you for SEC play down the road? I think, I mean, first it's three Power Five schools that are all going to be similar to SEC school, especially rotation and lineup, and then um, playing in a big environment in Texas, and obviously uh, the fans are going to be there. It's going to be rowdy. so. Going to be pretty similar to a away series on the road. The more format to how y'all opened the year last year, obviously that didn't go well for y'all. Is there any lesson you guys can apply from last year, or is it just a different deal? Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be pretty similar. Uh, probably need to, on the front end, be more like take it in on the front end, and then when it's game time, show up and be ready to play, you know, not be starstruck when you get under the lights and look around in a big stadium and kind of take it all in on Thursday night practice and then be ready to go for the weekend. Yeah, I mean, uh, the pizza series, we uh, put two good lineups together. Uh, just the competition has been pretty heavy, so um, we've been thrown in the fire against each other, but uh, we're just excited to play uh, another team in a different jersey. Where's Kavar's tears? Where are you seeing him grow uh, over the offseason? Uh, obviously, his body has changed like crazy. He's shredded now, but um, I'd say mentally he's just matured a lot more. He kind of knows how to go about his way at the plate and work his way through at bats. And then for outfield, he's uh, he's as good of one as we got on the team. So he'll be fine out there. What have you seen from Xander this preseason? What does he bring on the mound when he's out there? Uh, calmness, especially if you're on defense. You know what he's going to bring to the table. He's going to get on the mound, pump strikes, and uh, keep the defense to work. How are Dylan Dryling and Reese Chapman, Chapman different going into year two? Same thing with Kavaris a little bit, just the maturity level from both of them uh, from year one to year two is, has grown. Um, obviously, they've been in the league now for a year, seen the pitching, kind of know how to work their way through a weekend and throughout at bats. So they'll both be fine this year. How about for you, what's your confidence level like and mindset going into the year where you kind of know your job as opposed to last year? You, you weren't exactly sure what that role was going to be. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. It brings a, a calmness. Uh, kind of being able to go out and play with no pressure, um, more stress-free, and the confidence is there because uh, it's my second go-around, kind of being an everyday guy, hopefully. So really just keeping my focus to going out and competing and just finding a way to win no matter what. Are there any pitchers that have stood out to you from inner squads that have kind of that had a good spring and fall? Yeah, obviously the returning guys like Xander, uh, Bean, A.J. Russell, guys like that, but guys in the portal like um, – we got Snead, AJ Causey, both extremely difficult right, right on right at bats. Um, and then you got Marcus Phillips and guys like that that are going to throw it hard and fill up the zone. What have you seen from Russell, his growth from facing him last year in practice to now this spring? Uh, well, last year I didn't room with him. He's my roommate now. But um, what I've seen is, I mean, he takes everything pretty seriously off the field. Um, his body has changed. He's put on probably 15, 20 pounds since last year. So. He's a lot stronger. Uh, another year with Coach Frank in the bullpen. So um, his velo is going to be there, and he's a big strike thrower, so we're not worried about that. Anything else for Hunter? How odd is it to see so many guys working at so many different positions and uh, the, the level of competition that's brought? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, even in the outfield, you got guys bounced around position to position. Um, I don't know if you were here yesterday, but I got an inning at second base and a three-inning scrimmage. Not that that's going to happen this year, but yeah, especially infield play, you got guys going all over the field, guys that can play second, short, third base, um, just a lot of guys that can play any position, uh, whether or not someone goes down or not, you got another guy that can jump right in.